Shellfish Reefs once covered up to half of Port Phillip Bay's seafloor. By the late 1800s, they were largely locally gone. Overexploited to the extent that the shellfish reef ecosystems started to collapse. In more recent years, overharvesting, catchment of coast pollution, and sedimentation plus disease have all contributed to these reefs not being able to recover. We're determined to bring back uh, the lost ecosystem, these shellfish reefs, uh, back into Port Phillip Bay uh, so that we can bring back more fish, cleaner water, uh, and more life uh, back into Port Phillip Bay. We're doing this using a number of different techniques, including using limestone and recycled seafood shells to form a base which we then seed hundreds of thousands of hatchery-grown Australian flat oysters and blue mussels. So these reefs offer us a small window into the past. In just a short period of time, life has really returned. We've seen schools of pinky, a baby snapper, little reef fish like pygmy leather jackets and hula fish, as well as the sorts of invertebrates that are really important for the bottom of the food chain, like sea stars and urchins, and even uh, octopus, top predators and seals. Since 2015, we've restored 1.5 hectares of shellfish reefs. This is equivalent to the size of the MCG. As many as 60 to 85% of the seeded oysters are surviving on the shellfish reefs. What is more exciting is that we're starting to see oyster hatchlings beginning to settle on the reef. This is real confirmation that we're doing something right. As the oyster populations of our reefs are able to complete their life cycle, surviving, growing, reproducing and attracting baby oysters back to settle on the home that the reefs provide. So it's these ecosystems that are the foundation for life. They're bringing back fish, they're bringing back uh, all the little crabs and crustaceans uh, that you see in the sand. Uh, and we want to breathe new life back into Port Phillip Bay. We are also providing opportunities for local communities to be involved, helping us measure and count oysters on the reef monitor baby hatchlings in the wild and cleaning and bagging up recycled shell to settle oyster hatchlings on before we release them onto the reefs. So if we're able to restore these shellfish reef ecosystems, uh, in the future they're going to be able to filter the equivalent of the entire city of Melbourne's wastewater, acting like a huge biological filter, really cleaning up the water in Port Phillip Bay.